Well, tonight, pay cuts are coming to Chickasaw, but it's the kind workers can support. Elected leaders taking steps this week to decrease their paychecks, and they're doing so for good reason. It's tonight's Reality Check. Last month, a driver crashed into a parked Chickasaw fire truck, knocking it out of service. So that is our biggest need right now. Eventually, insurance will cover the loss, but that takes time this small city doesn't have, says Councilwoman Jennifer White, who adds in the meantime, the city's had to buy a used spare. It's a huge impact because you're, you're talking about a city that, uh, you know, two fire trucks is maybe all we have. Capital needs like this, plus the fact across the board pay raises for workers haven't happened in six years, prompted leaders to get creative about where they could save. And it started by looking in the mirror. This week, the council voted to move forward with a plan that cuts their own pay. The mayor's annual salary will go from more than $14,000 to $12,000 a year. And each of the five council members will slash their salaries by $1,200 annually a total savings of more than $8,000 a year. And we're a small city, so we feel that every dollar counts. Councilman Adam Bourne says it's certainly not enough to dole out pay raises to every worker, but it's a step in that direction. So it saves money, but it also shows our city employees that we're in the fight with them. And you want to do something for them because you see how much they do for the city. Um, it's, it's a difficult situation, so if that's just a small gesture, who was not there at this week's meeting to vote, says he supports it. In a statement, he says, quote, we feel that it is our responsibility to take actions like this to continue the city services that our residents deserve. The council is set to formally adopt this measure at next week's council meeting.